Hey guys, it's Amy at 804 Sycamore. In this video, I'm going to show you how I skim coated my bedroom walls. And then I went ahead and added this amazing lime wash finish. It's a specialty paint and it's so unique and beautiful. I think you're just going to love it. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like DIY and decorating. Let's get going. The first step in preparing to skim coat our walls is to remove all of our outlet covers and door stops. Make sure you put uh, plastic down, tape off your molding or your carpet, and then I also used a drop cloth just to have extra protection. Um, and once you're all set up with the prep work, then you can go ahead and measure and mark your spot. Now I use the rule of thirds, and so I like to do my wall treatments at two thirds up my wall or one third up my wall and one third is a more country farmhouse old-fashioned look and two thirds is a bit more modern and so I went with seven feet up the wall because we have 10 foot ceilings so I'm measuring marking and then using my um, level straight edge to go ahead and draw a line now what this line is going to do for me is it's just going to give me the line that I will tape off to prepare for the skim coat step. So taping off um, your trim work, moldings, and along your um, line is pretty self-explanatory, but I have to say using um, good painter's tape is key. I used a brand I thought was fine and it kept falling down, so I ended up having to use frog tape and it stayed up for the duration all the way through my lime wash. So highly recommend frog tape for this process. With everything sectioned off, now I am using a putty knife and I am knocking down all the little edges of the texture of my walls. I'm scraping them off. They're the high relief edges from the texture that's on the wall. So my room is about 16 feet by 16 feet roughly and I ended up using almost an entire four and a half gallon um, bucket of mudding compound. Um, I, I mixed little bits at a time, but the consistency should be like pancake batter. And so I, um, I added this attachment to my drill gun to really help me mix it and do the hard work because mudding compound is rather thick. And then I also used warm water thinking um, it might kind of dissolve and mix better and, and it seemed to work pretty great that way. So just add bits of water until you get that right consistency. You don't want it runny, but you don't want it too thick. Now I was not familiar with mudding compound, um, how it would go on and you actually need to load your paintbrush quite a bit. And I just used a regular roller. Um, it's a, not too the nap isn't too thick but it's not too thin I don't think a sponge roller would be good and I also got this attachment to really help me get up at the seven foot mark but as you can see I'm loading up my brush and then I kind of use that little scraper rack in there to um, knock off some of the extra mud and then I'm trying to apply as even and thin of a layer as I can now this is my first coat and so I'm not worried about perfection. I'm just trying to kind of fill in some of the, the texture of the orange peel textured walls. Um, and then I scrape it and that's kind of the artistic part. That's the part that was a lot harder than I thought, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And then you're gonna go ahead and add another layer. And then using that uh, muddy knife, you're going to smooth it. And um, for this part, I, took a lot of time on this very first wall and then I realized I could go a little faster. It doesn't have to be quite as perfect because um, I can sand off and smooth any of uh, you know deeper lines or whatever. However, I will say that I made the mistake when sanding. I used our shop back and it blew a lot of dust everywhere and so um, I would recommend just using a sanding sponge to kind of flatten out any real obvious ridges that you didn't get to um, smooth out well with your um, taping knife. Um, so 
When you do the lime wash, you'll see that perfection isn't necessary. You just need that smooth surface. Once I did the entire room, I went ahead and applied the second layer of mud. And this time it was a little bit like a thick pancake batter. I realized the first time it was maybe a little thin and if it was just a little bit thicker, it would go on and I could smooth it out better. So again, you're just going to roll it on and then you're gonna take your um, taping knife. I used a 12 inch taping knife. I felt like any bigger I couldn't control, any smaller, smaller would take too much time. And you're just smoothing it out and scraping off the excess. Um, if you get it wet, sometimes that also helps to add smoothness when you're trying to um, wipe it clean and smooth. Once your skim coating is done, smooth, sanded, ready to go, then I use the Portola Paints Lime Wash Primer. This is very easy, straightforward. It's just like priming anything. I used my um, roller extender, just a regular um, brush, and went for it. And here is a quick shot of the whole room, skim coated and primed. We are still sleeping in here. That's why I tied up the curtains so we could close them at night. But I had to work fast because we wanted to sleep in here. So everything had to be dry by the evening. Now I'm starting the lime wash. This is Northwoods Gray by Portola Paints. And I absolutely love this finish. It is not strong scent. There's no VOC. It's natural and it's very easy to apply. One tip is to work quickly, and the instructions say to work at a diagonal, and that is very important because as soon as the lime wash dry starts drying, you're gonna get a darker edge. Now the best way to make sure you don't get that dry edge is by having a continuous spray water bottle. And we had one, my daughter uses it for her hair. And what I would do is as soon as I got to like, for instance, this wall, this is a larger wall. Um, and it, when you start at the bottom or top, by the time you get midway, you're gonna need to spray everything that you just did. Because if you don't, you will have a dark spot. And the worst part would be to have these dark diagonal lines so I highly recommend making sure it's always wet or even better if you have a helper. And as you can see, I'm doing up and down, left to right, X's, just really trying to get um, a, not, a, not straight strokes, just really crisscrossing hash type, um, hash type design. And when you keep it wet, that is the key to making sure that you don't have dark spots and you cannot touch this up later. Now, you can contact the company, tell them what's going on, and they can often give you great advice and tips for how to fix a potential problem. For the smaller walls, it's very easy, but for the bigger ones, you really gotta keep it wet. So now you can see I'm applying my second coat. The lime wash dries very quickly. Um, your arm might get a little bit tired, and so you may not want to do the whole job in one day, but you absolutely could because of how quickly it dries. And you know when it's dry because it goes from dark to light, and you can feel it too. So as you can see, I'm loading my brush using the can, but it's um, a very drippy, wet consistency. And so I am using a paper plate to catch the drips and to kind of set the brush when I need to spray it and whatnot. This little wall was very easy to do. I don't need a lot of spray, but the bigger walls definitely have that spray bottle. So here we are walking into our master suite and you can see in certain lighting the beautiful texture provided by the lime wash finish. You can see that little dark spot. That was a spot that I messed up on, but you know, I don't even notice it anymore. And I absolutely love just how beautiful and modern but like cozy and casual this um, treatment is i have to put the baseboards back on we're going to put different ones on but we are loving it and um, i just highly recommend this treatment 
you can get so many different colors and they allow you to buy little uh, sample jars and I just sampled it on a piece of cardstock because I really just want to see what it would look like dry and that will save you a lot of money they also help you determine how much you'll need for whatever size room you're doing a lot of people like to also do the ceiling so everything is lime washed and it's gorgeous it's moody it's um, very old world it's it's a stunning treatment so I hope you like this video uh, you can find more details in the description you can also find them on my blog but thank you for watching this video I hope you are inspired and um, I hope you can uh, subscribe for more videos.